So what makes us distinct here at Anna Kappa is our philosophy and our approach. And in particular, our mission at Anna Kappa is to empower students to excel at critical thinking, creativity, integrity, and compassion through academic and experiential learning in a close-knit, diverse community. This mission stands on three principles we as faculty and students pursue. To treat everyone, including ourselves, with dignity, to always do our best, and to foster a culture of collaboration. It's a place where students know their faculty and they are known by faculty. And so we've adopted that same approach here at Anacapa where we might have a class of just four or five students in more of a seminar kind of setting. And most all classes are somewhere between two, three students up to perhaps 15. So we can create that environment and we can create a course that's gonna best help our students flourish. So Anacapa definitely is different from other schools. Like obviously the size of course, but it definitely gets to know you one-on-one. -on -one. So you definitely get to talk to the teachers, communicate, see what you like, and really lets you explore what you want to be, what things you want to pursue in life, and it really just finds common interests. I actually used to be shy. I used to be the shy girl that was always wanted to be confident, but was not, didn't feel confident enough, I guess, to be who I wanted to be. But when I walk into Anna Kappa, I don't feel like that at all. I feel like I can be whoever I want to be. Like, almost as if I can be a hero and I can chase down all of my dreams. For me, Anna Kappa gives me hope. It's cool to come to Anna Kappa because like, at other schools, I know that some kids are like, oh, I don't want to go to school because like, everyone stains, I don't want to go to class. But here, like, I felt that in the first like few months because I, I never really liked school, but now I'm getting up at like five o'clock every morning, getting ready, and then I'm just watching TV and I just leave like right away because I'm happy to come to school. If you look around, our hallways are just one big outdoor awning and we are having conversations in the classrooms, outside the classroom, at lunch, as we're walking to theaters, going to exciting performances, hearing from people that are in the world, doing what, doing what they love, and hoping, hoping to inspire our students to find that passion and find what they want to do and how they want to contribute to the community. Well, my brother went to a big high school of like 3,000 kids and I heard about his relationships with the teacher. You call them by their last name. You don't really talk to them unless you raise your hand. Here, it's completely the opposite. You talk to the teacher outside of class, during lunch, in class, and it, they're just really always there for you and it's just an open environment. A faculty will discover, say, a student is particularly interested in computers, and so we can create a parallel path where they can actually be involved in some intensive programming, and that's going to augment the science and everything else in terms of kind of what they're doing. We've had other students interested in design, and so we can add some independent studies in design put on perhaps by different professionals that can help them excel in those areas and augment their other studies. I get to really get to know my students in depth. I get to know what they love, what they're passionate about, and it just enables me to capitalize on their strengths in my class. I absolutely love doing that. So relationships with teachers at Anna Kappa are very different than maybe a traditional school because there are fewer teachers and there are fewer students, so you get a lot more time to connect with the teachers. I think it's a lot better of a relationship when you can talk to your teachers outside of class because you see them as human, not just uh, someone that's telling you uh, how much homework you have to do. So, I love the idea of learning about things that I want to learn about because it helps me develop passion and helps me really find something that I'm interested in. And I think it's it's better than a conventional system, really, because I can, as a person, say, oh, I want to go into marine biology as a high school freshman, and I don't have to find that out when I first go to college and be all confused. You're being taught by people that are your peers. You're being taught by your friends, and I think you often will pay attention more if it's someone that you kind of look up to who's explaining something. What I really enjoy is that, like, the teachers push you and the, like the curriculum that we're learning influences what electives we choose, I think. Because when we're learning something that we like, we obviously want to do it more, and that kind of matches with our electives. We have two different trips, I like to call them really adventures, that we do a year to help broaden the horizons of our students. So the fall, we do some type of outdoor trip, some type of camping where hopefully something goes wrong. 
uh, because this turns out to be a wonderful environment to grow teams, to grow students together, to really kick off the year in a strong way. And then towards the end of the year, we do some type of city trip where we can broaden the horizon. So this year, for example, we're going to Silicon Valley, so they have the opportunity to see Google and the slides and the crazy work environment they have. And so an important part of finding the right school is finding the right fit. And so we're looking for students that want to be involved, they want to be engaged, and they want to grow. And that is a big part of what we do. And so we're very proud that we've curated a wonderful group of families and students that are part of Anacapa. If I could tell my teachers anything, it would pretty much, I would say thank you. I mean, I don't think I'd be here if it wasn't for them. I've had the support, the role, their unconditional support since I could remember. If I had three words to describe the Anacapa school, they, they would be rigorous, um, comforting, and um, fun. So for us, the ideal student that we're looking for are those students that want to seek adventure, they have critical thinking, they want to further develop it, and they have compassion. And it is a student with these kinds of characteristics that we can help truly flourish and become global citizens.